get accepted into medical school. That's a that's an unbelievable privilege, and um, the trick is to uh, not take it for granted. I think in life, the, the, what I would ask medical students is to, you know, is to always think twice about you know what what special responsibility they're given, and with that comes great power, uh, sort of like a superhero, and you should use it for a little bit of good. It's one thing to understand the science and the technical aspects of medicine in general and emergency medicine in particular, but you have to like people and you must enjoy interacting with people and caring about people to be a successful doctor and certainly to be a successful emergency physician. The type of person who likes emergency medicine um, and see if you fit in with those people um, and because there are some students that get in the emergency room and you know this isn't for them they want to take care of medicine patients they want to be somebody's doctor you know over 20 years um, and like that type of medicine versus those of us in emergency medicine like the fast pace like the critical decision making um, and helping somebody who's in acute need right now but you don't follow these patients over time so uh, you know it's a different approach to medicine than some of the other specialties I think that most people that go into emergency medicine really do like almost everything now. I mean, that's why you go into it, because you're comfortable setting a bone and delivering a baby and sewing up a wound and taking care of abdominal pain. And if you didn't, you shouldn't be in there. I would say really factor in everything into your decision, into your specialty. Factor in, I, I think one of the things that I was told as a medical student was, you know, decide what field you would like to go into. It's so much of a bigger picture than that. You really have to picture what your whole life is going to be like in that specialty. The thing to remember is it really is more shift work than an eight to five Monday through Friday job. So you have to be willing to work nights, you have to be willing to work some weekends, but in trade-off for that you have a lot of control over your schedule. Now seek out both a, uh, a location and a character of a program that seems to meet both your needs and your personality. Um, you want to be happy or as happy as you can be during the stressors of training, uh, so you might as well try and stack as many of those uh, uh, various factors uh, in your favor before you go forward.